Alrighty, so let's begin with the first question. Always mark the keyword so as to arrive at uh, so as to arrive at the correct answers quickly, and what the question is looking for. And here you'll see some highlighted words in a long sentence in the options, which will help you narrow down more. Like it will help you to judge whether an option is correct or not easily. Uh, the uh, the blue highlighted words which I, I'll be doing so this is a good way to save time in exam also please consider checking out my exclusive management cyber security Google Cloud courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit or you can navigate to the URL udemy.com slash user slash Cloud Guru Amit where you will find tons of courses which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager their thought processes and how a project works in an it world and also will help you to arrive at the correct answers very quickly minimum uh, uh, and uh, you'll be able to uh, save time very much let's look at option a if you look at option a sensitive uh, that is removing sensitive field doesn't align with the requirement to align all data for future use so this is incorrect we'll move to b if you look at option b here it says encrypt the entire data set encrypting the entire data set would stop its usability for analysis while still requiring privacy control at the field level so this is wrong answer We'll move to now option C if we look at option C that is mask sensitive details masking masking sensitive data using uh, cloud DLP ensures privacy while keeping data set intact for future analytics we have different types of masking right data dynamic data masking static data masking so uh, this this is helpful as per the requirement of the question let's keep this We'll move to D. D says encrypt specific sensitive attributes, just like option uh, B, what we have seen. Encrypting specific attributes add protection but complicates usability for analytics without decryption. So, this is incorrect. Let's lock option C as the right answer. Okay, let's tackle this question. Here we go, where we need. Uh, to include parquet and csv and the data exists in multiple format this time let's look at option a a says utilize bigquery data transfer service bigquery data transfer service is meant for structured data set migration into bigquery not object storage consolidation what we uh, have uh, the requirement in the question so this is incorrect we'll move to b b says leverage storage transfer service storage transfer service facilitates bulk transfer but lacks built-in graphical user interface based orchestration which is the requirement of the equation again so b cannot meet the requirement let's move to c c says implement data flow pipelines to proceed uh, to process and transfer data streams into cloud storage so data flow is optimized for stream processing and transformation rather than centralized storage management with object encryption support wrong choice we'll move to option d this is use cloud data fusion to orchestrate data movement into cloud storage through a visual interface looks good because cloud data fusion enables graphical user interface based pipeline creation and supports object storage syncs and uh, ob object storage syncs with encryption key management it looks good because it will meet all the requirement that being said option d is the correct choice all right now here we have a brainstorming question where we have a massive data that is 60 tb option a is define authorized views Authorized views only control access but doesn't pre-compute results leading to redundant computation incorrect 
Now we'll move to option B. B says activate BI engine. BI engine optimizes in-memory queries but is not suited for large-scale fact tables like 60 terabytes data set. Incorrect. We'll move to C. C says create materialized views. Materialized views enhance query performance by storing pre-computed aggregations reducing repeated computation cost computation and cost let's keep this uh, we'll um, move to options d d says set up a schedule query schedule queries generate full tables at intervals adding maintenance overhead rather than providing on the fly optimization which metalize views provide for now option d is incorrect we'll lock option c as the right choice okay here we go with a question where we need to integrate python based processing into our workflow let's look at option a it says deploy a cloud composer environment cloud composer is designed for workflow orchestration but adds unnecessary complexity for lightweight json processing incorrect we'll move to b b says set up a data proc cluster data proc is optimized for large scale distributed data processing and is not suitable for a small json file incorrect we'll move to c c says trigger a cloud function cloud function offers a simple and fast execution environment for python based processing without infrastructure overhead we'll keep this we'll move to option d d says execute a sub workflow within workflows sub workflows organize workflow logic but doesn't expand python's standard library capabilities what we require wrong answer we'll lock option c as the correct choice let's bring the heat to the snow we need to minimize exposure to external networks let's look at option a e says activate private google access private google access allows virtual machines without external ip to reach google api securely reducing cost and risk uh, we need to secure right and reduce cost that is cost efficient private google access um, uh, looks good we can keep this we'll move to b b says keep external ip addresses leaving external ip addresses increases exposure to public internet leading to potential security risk and higher cost as well incorrect we'll move to option c c if you look configure a private service connect endpoint private service connect is useful for accessing google managed services but is unnecessary for direct api calls we'll eliminate it we'll move to option d d says set up cloud nat to provide outbound internet access while managing network security through firewall policies cloud nat provides outbound connectivity but doesn't eliminate the need for external ips which will increase definitely the cost right um, the solution cannot meet the cost efficient connection that's why option d is wrong well lock option a is the right choice all right now so let's tackle a question related to big query we'll look at option a e says leverage analytics hub analytic hub allows teams to share and access fresh read only data sets in a self service model without duplication let's keep this we'll move to b b says create authorized data sets authorized data sets provide controlled access but doesn't enable self service subscription for data recovery incorrect we'll move to option c option c if we look uh, c is grant a big query dot data viewer access granting big query dot data viewer access uh, data viewer role works for access control but leads to management complexity for multiple teams incorrect let's move to option d this is use big query data transfer service big query data transfer service creates copies increasing storage cost and reducing data freshness wrong answer we lock option e as the correct choice all right now here we go with a question 
um, which is about uh, reliable message handling uh, we'll look at option a it says implemented d to uh, d duplicate uh, p transform in data flow d duplicate p transform helps remove duplicates but doesn't ensure duplicate message handling in pub sub pull subscription incorrect we'll move to b b says set up a transactional database a transactional database adds overhead and increases workflow complexity which is not required it's incorrect we'll move to option c enable pub sub exactly once delivery exactly once delivery ensures messages are consumed in a single time preventing duplicate processing without extra complexity this can be the potential answer we'll move to d d says create a new pub sub push subscription push subscription monitor processed orders but do not control duplicate message handling in pull subscription we'll reject it we'll lock option c as the right choice all right now here we go with a question which is uh, about we need to make sure we need to query fast and keeping insights up to date let's look at option a e. is a schedule recurring queries a schedule uh, query automates execution but does not accelerate the query performance on last tables overall goal of this question is to reduce the query time right if you look here this cannot meet let's delete it we'll move to option b b says use query caching query caching is effective for identical recent queries but frequent data updates in uh, uh, invalidate the cache incorrect we'll move to c c says select fewer columns limiting column offers marginal performance gains but doesn't solve the challenge of querying a vast table for timely aggregations incorrect we'll move to d d says set up a metalized view metalized views pre compute and store and store query results providing faster access to fresh um, aggregated uh, data from large tables this will re meet the requirement of the question metalized view let's lock it as the right choice all right now here we go with a question where the model requires the latest 40 days of data let's look at option a if you look at option a a says scheduled query uh, if you look at option a scheduled queries require manual deletion increasing maintenance overhead and lacking automated cleanup incorrect we'll move to b b says partition the big query table by weather date partitioning by weather date enables automatic deletion through a set expiration policy helping reduce storage cost looks good uh, because we need efficient storage management as per the question right we'll keep this we'll move to option c c says partition the big query table by ingestion time partitioning by ingestion time supports expiration but doesn't align with uh, weather date filtering resulting in inefficient automatic data uh, removal wrong answer we'll move to d d says use a date time column in the big query table using date time column requires scheduled queries which lack built-in automatic data removal and lead to higher cost let's delete it we'll lock option b as the right choice all right now here we go with a question which is about signed urls and uh, we can see the transfer's job initially ran successfully but later failed due to http 403 error we need to um, look for an approach to fix this issue if you look at option a it says cloud storage fuse cloud storage fuse enables mounting but it doesn't resolve expired signed url leading to repeated failures uh, again this will not meet the requirement we'll move to b b says renew the https endpoints tls certificate renewing tls certificate enhances security but doesn't resolve access issues from expired signed url which is the um, bottleneck of the question or um, that is the uh, goal of the question to fix it right 
So this is wrong. We'll go to C. C says generate new signed URLs with a longer validity. Generating new signed URL with extended validity and splitting the job improves completion rates for time sensitive transfer. Uh, this can be the potential answer. We'll move to D. D says update file checksums. Updating file checksums doesn't affect signed URL validity, leaving the underlying access issue unresolved. We'll eliminate it. We'll lock option C as the right choice. Also, please consider checking out my exclusive management cybersecurity Google Cloud courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit or you can navigate to the URL udemy.com slash user slash Cloud Guru Amit where you will find tons of courses which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager, their thought processes and how a project works in an IT world. So thank you so much for watching this video.